Hi, I'm Kat, and if you're familiar with my channel, you probably noticed that I don't do a lot of haul videos. They just kind of feel gross to me. And most of the clothing videos that I do are in a lookbook format. All of those pieces were given to me by one specific company, and I do love those clothes, and I do wear those clothes, but I wanted to show you what I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis and where I buy my clothes. I've fallen into this place where I'd say 90 to 95% of my clothing is purchased secondhand, either from thrift stores or garage sales or even given to me by people who just don't wear these things anymore, and I'm always like, yeah, I'll take free clothing. I I don't think that's something to be ashamed about. Here's why. I mean, I always grew up uh, secondhand shopping, and um, part of that was because that's all I could afford for the most part, and I would always, always, always look at the thrift store before I would go and purchase something new because I was poor. Now that I have slightly more resources, um, I am trying to do this in part to reduce my contribution to fast fashion. And I think I could go down this rabbit hole of a whole bunch of terrible things that are going on because of the fashion industry and slave labor and polluting, especially marginalized communities where these sweatshops are um, and where people who manufacture not only the fabric but the garments themselves are working in terrible conditions. So I, <sighs> I'm not gonna get away from purchasing these items, honestly. There are so many goods in the United States that fall into this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away from, in some way, contributing to that, but what I am doing is, instead of getting overwhelmed and saying that I won't do it at all, I'm finding small ways to reduce my contributions and small ways to not give money to those companies that do these terrible things to people and to the earth. So um, I guess thrift shopping is just one of the ways in which you can do that and I wanted to show you that you can get great clothing, it's also way more affordable and a little bit more ethical than buying absolutely everything you owned brand new. Before I get started, you should know that 75% of the time I wear dresses. <laughs> I picked this one up from Crossroads for $12. Originally, it retails for $118. It's a Maggie London exclusive, and I love the colors of this. It reminds me of a Lily Pulitzer print, and it's super lightweight and comfortable, so I just like to wear this out and around town running errands. It is perfect for summer, or if you are in Los Angeles like I am, then year round. I paired this with a turquoise ring and silver leaf charm bracelet, both of which were gifts from friends, as well as these vintage inspired clogs that were also a gift from a friend, and these are from Uggs. The next outfit is this long tank dress. This is super comfortable. I wore this out to Froyo and paired it with some simple Adidas, as well as this lilac cashmere sweater that I picked up at an estate sale for 25 cents. The dress itself cost me $12 because it was on sale, probably because it's going out of season. And this dress is super comfortable. I wear it all the time. I can wear heels with it or put on some tennis shoes and take it easy. The next dress is an actual vintage piece. I got this one at a garage sale in my building. I paired it with these Oxfords as well as some vintage jewelry that my grandmother gave me and this vintage hat that I got at an estate sale for 25 cents. I only paid $5 for this dress and I love the silhouette on this. I actually had to wear my corset with this because I don't own a girdle anymore, but I love the way a fitted garment like this looks with the proper undergarment underneath it. It just gives it a totally different shape and I love this dress. It's flowy and adorable and it would look great with a crinoline under it or just on its own like I wore it to the park. The next outfit was this ruched tank dress from Lathe. This originally retailed for $58 and I got it for 12 
from Buffalo Exchange. I paired it up with some casual boots and took it out to get a sweet little treat. This dress is so comfortable. It's nice and stretchy and lightweight, and I wear this pretty much all the time now. The next dress is another vintage dress. This one I got from that same garage sale in my building. This was actually made specifically to be sold out of one of those tourist traps in Hawaii. It has such a fun print on it and I think it's absolutely adorable. I paired it up with these secondhand Oxford inspired shoes that I got online. They're originally from Seychelles and I think they retail for somewhere around $95 and I got them for 10 if I'm remembering correctly and the dress I only paid five dollars for and the umbrella I got at an estate sale and reinforced the inside of it but I only paid 25 cents for this vintage hand-painted umbrella and I paired it up with this adorable wooden necklace that is also vintage. Next is this short wrap dress with a star print that is originally from Lulu's and retails for about $85 and I picked it up for $15 from Crossroads. I paired it up with some simple striped Adidas and since it's very short, I wore this black negligee underneath it. It's a cotton negligee, so it covers up a little bit more in the front where it's a little bit revealing and adds another two inches to the hemline, which I definitely needed on this dress. And the next one is this gorgeous raspberry dress. This one was originally from BCBG and I picked this one up at the council thrift shop in Studio City. It is nice and stretchy and comfortable and since it has long sleeves, I can wear it probably year round here in Los Angeles. I paired it up with some wooden wedges that I got at Crossroads for $25 and I think I only paid about $18 for this dress. I've worn it a ton, it's super comfortable and this last dress is from a brand called Some Days Lovin'. I know that this particular one originally retailed for about $125 and I picked this dress up for $30. It's really a cute special occasion dress, but sometimes you've just got to stay home with the cats and have a glass of wine and some junk food. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, and thanks for watching.